Hi, welcome to the weekend vlog. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're having a good weekend. I just got done getting ready. I put on my sunscreen, I fixed my hair, put in all my UV filters. Uh, in my hair today, I'm using a couple of products. So I'm using the Sunbum Salt. Sea, sea spray mist and uh, this has UV filters in here to protect your hair from the sun. I'm also using the, let's see what else am I using, the No Nothing spray which it says it has UV filters in here. I'm not entirely sure about that but it also protects against heat as does the Sun Bum Sea Salt spray and I'm also using this hairspray, the Wella hairspray. It's a medium, I think it's like a light medium hold, hold that also has UV filters in here. Also protects against heat, which is great because I used, I did use the blow dryer, which I have been doing a lot more frequently and trying to like do something different with my hair. Anyway, uh, in terms of sunscreen today, I'm using a mix of two different sunscreens. I'm using the Mineral Effusion SPF 40 and the Indie Solar Sciences. I layer these together, but today I'm using both mineral sunscreens. I'm not using any of my chemical Korean or European sunscreens. The first sunscreen I ever used consistently was the Mineral Fusion. And this is, again, just purely mineral uh, titanium dioxide zinc oxide. It's fairly, I have to, it's fairly oily. So if you have oily skin, acne prone skin, probably not the best thing for you. They, they do include a lot of botanical oils and extracts. And there is Jehovah oil in here and shea butter, which are very hydrating ingredients. There are, there is some research to suggest that it may be, these ingredients may also be anti-aging, not only in terms of their emolliency properties and the occlusive agent from, from uh, the shea butter and the moisturizing properties of those ingredients, but the antioxidants may be photoprotective and may also help just to improve and nourish the skin, which is awesome. I do love Jehovah oil and shea butter, but it is a little bit greasy. So just be aware of that. I do love the moisture though, because Again, I'm using the Skin Medica Retinol, which you've probably heard me talk about this on my other vlogs, but it definitely dries out the skin. I've definitely noticed it. Like during the day, I can feel, even though I have, wow, do I look pale and really white in this? Even though I do have sunscreen on and I've layered it a couple of times already, I feel my skin starting to dry out a little bit, even though it feels a little, like I have like the outer layer is a little moist because of the sunscreen. It just soaks up moisture. And so I have to make sure that I am applying very moisturizing ingredients during the day and at night. In fact, last night I applied just some, I applied a humectant and then I applied a light moisturizing lotion from CeraVe and then I applied a thicker moisturizing cream from CeraVe and then on top of that, after that sort of dried down a little bit, actually no, actually while it was still wet after I washed my face and applied all that moisture, I applied a little bit of petrolatum Vaseline just to, just because petrolatum is like the most occlusive agent <laughs> known in skincare, so I applied that on top of everything and I woke up this morning, my skin was moist, dewy, the moisture had be been re retained through Throughout the night, you know, eight plus hours. So very, very happy about that. If you are dealing with dry skin issues, try petrolatum if you can and see if that helps. Just apply it on top as sort of a thin top layer on top of a moist face that you've already moisturized with a commercial grade moisturizer. That being said, there are a lot of moisturizers that do contain petrolatum, like the oh the Vanny cream, the Vanny cream moisturizing cream. The second ingredient after water is petrolatum. So like, do you really need an extra layer of petrolatum? I don't know. I find that it's very silky and smooth when I do add that extra layer. I personally like petrolatum. It's been really helpful for me. So anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and get started for my day and I will see you later. The only, <laughs> it's not appropriate for this <laughs> vlog. I was gonna say the only thing it's missing is our um, confession booth. A, con a, a confession booth? Yeah. Um, Jacob, we're going to Lake Normand right now. I think it's like- Lake Norman. Lake Norman. I always put a, toward Carnegie Boulevard. I always put a D at the end of it, but Lake Norman, which is like north. Northwest on Carnegie Boulevard toward Sharon Road. Okay, we're trying to get out of the parking garage with the GPS is on, um, which is North Charlotte. And uh, found a cool restaurant, or Jacob found the restaurant. It looks really nice. And um, then we're gonna go, I guess, walk around at the park. You can talk, by the way. Yeah. In the vlog. Oh, um, hi vlog. We're gonna walk around at a park and check it out, take you along with me. Jacob was just talking about he found a house on Realtor that is like an old church. Could, yeah, it's like an old, I don't know, method? I, I'm not sure what type, but it's it's really cool looking and it has a full on kitchen and, and bedroom and bathroom. In 400 feet. Or bathrooms, right I guess you're saying. Can you imagine living in a church? Wouldn't that be kind of creepy though? Do you think it would be haunted? 
I think so, but you like haunted. I do like haunted. I don't know. I mean, it looks really pretty. I would potentially live there or have that as like a second <laughs> house. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's not even in Charlotte though. It's in Wyndham. I don't know. It's cool. But anyway, we're going to drive. We're finally getting out of the parking garage and uh, I'll take you along with me. I'll, I think we'll start at the restaurant and then go from there. So the restaurant rating wasn't high that we're going to? Yeah, but a lot of the comments were like, I don't understand why the rating is so low. So Maybe people are really picky in North Charlotte or like up north. I think just the people, it seems like sometimes the people who leave reviews at places just want to leave negative comments. Like there's a lot more people who go there and have a fine experience than the people who leave ne negative comments probably. Sometimes it's justified though, I feel like, right? I mean, it just depends on the... I guess we'll find out for ourselves. Yeah. Did I show you this that I got from Cooley Bar? Oh no, did it's, you get it while I was gone? Well, it kind of doubles up as a blanket, but it's actually a bandana for like to wear around your neck. Interesting. So just gonna cover up from the UVA. I don't think a lot of UVA or UV comes through the windshield though. I think they've In made that so it blocks out all, all the UV. I'm just not sure about the UVA. Yeah, UV, UPF 50. I'm also wearing my other Cooley Bar sleeves at the moment. So we just got done eating lunch and drove around a little bit. Now on the way to get coffee, found a nice place here. Oh, my voice is cracking. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I got an iced latte. Surprise, surprise. It's sort of like a treat to me this weekend, but I love, love iced lattes. Unsweetened, but just unsweetened, but just with whole milk. And then somebody ran out to us. Jacob got a medium roast coffee. Somebody ran out to us. It's like a barber shop, I think. Shout out to Daniel Gentleman's Cut Salon. They ran out while we were in, getting in the car and handed this to Jacob, the, uh, I guess a business card. So if you're in the surrounding Charlotte area, area and you want to check this out, Daniel Gentleman's Club. I haven't used them, so I, <laughs> it's not sponsored, but there you go. So this latte, it's okay, but like, I feel like a lot of lattes, it's either a hit or a miss. Like sometimes it tastes like you're just drinking a big glass of iced milk and other times it tastes like you're drinking a quarter mile, turn right like a strong a strong cup of coffee in milk or like it tastes better do you know what i mean yes um this one is like a in between it's like the coffee could be stronger i feel like we just need to get an espresso machine 
to make our own, or so I can make my own lattes with like really dark roast coffees. We can do that. Okay. What do you want? What? Oh. What's your question? <laughs> well, <laughs> now I'm kidding. <laughs> don't, don't put that in. Okay. Now I'm camera shy. Um, do you want to grind your own beans or do you want like an espresso? An espresso? I, I feel like an espresso machine would taste better than the espresso. Because if you want to grind your own beans, we need a new grinder. grinder. Oh. Well, if, well, that one that one is not meant for um, espresso. Espresso. Well, there's also just ground espresso that you can buy. It doesn't have to be. You know what I mean? It's like it doesn't have to be. You don't have to grind it yourself. If we do espresso, like I want to get a Continue legit, a top legit setup like with a line. really nice grinder and a nice espresso machine. Hmm. Okay. Let's do it. This is actually a cute little street. Are these residential houses? I guess so. They almost look like they could be offices. Well, some of them are. This actually reminds me of that place in in Charlotte, that one coffee place that we went to, that street. Oh. Um, and it's in those old houses. We've yeah, been to it a couple Matthews? of times. Yeah. Or is it Matthews? We've been to it a couple of times. We went with your parents. Oh. Um, I think it's in Charlotte. In Plaza? Yeah, um, Plaza Midway. Uh, So we just got back from our outing and I hope I'm not like causing dizziness for you right now, the way I'm filming. I sort of am doing it very sporadically, but yeah, I just got back. I'm gonna ooh, put some eye drops in my eyes because my eyes feel really red. I also wanted to reapply my sunscreen. I was gonna take a shower and wash my hair and fix it again, but eh, it's the weekend. All right, so let's see. I was going to reapply. I can never find anything in this drawer. I have everything, I had it organized, and then you know what I need to do? I need to get like um, some containers from the container store and really organize it. It's so frustrating because I'm trying to look for one th thing. Every time I look for one thing, one specific thing, I can never find it. I can find everything else that I own but this one thing. Probably because that one thing is in this top drawer and not the sunscreen drawer. I have two sunscreens out, two mineral sunscreens out. I brought this with me, the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Defense for the body. I brought this with me uh, just on the road trip because I thought we were going to go to a park and walk around. Can you see it? But this is the SPF 50. It's for the body, but I use it for my face. It's mineral sunscreen, non-tinted. Even though it's non-tinted, there is some iron oxides in here. So I'm, I'm assuming it gives a little bit of color because it's not super casty on me. But this one, the... Mineral Fusion, the one I was telling you about earlier. I'm gonna reapply this one. I It's very moisturizing and it's even lab labeled Nourishing Hydration with Shea Butter Broad Spectrum. So SPF 40, SPF 40 is great. I think that's fine, especially if you're just gonna be inside all day. The thing about this is I wanna recommend this if you are going outside and sweating, like if you're going to, to the beach or the pool or whatever, because this is definitely not, not water resistant. It's very oily. Some might say greasy, but I personally like that. And uh, because I think it's the shea butter and the jojoba oil that's in here. But other than that, it's, it gives my skin a nice glow, uh, which I really like. And oh, it even says it has elasticity promoting peptides in here. So apparently it also has peptides in here, which are also great for skin, for collagen and elastin. But I like this. I meant to tell you that it does have natural fragrance in here. So if you are a person who tries to stay away from fragrance, the Mineral Fusion SPF 40 is probably not gonna be the one for you. That being said, I still like it. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just reapply this. The mineral fusion is actually pretty liquidy. I feel like maybe I should just show you what it looks like so you can get an idea of how runny it is. Again, <laughs> this isn't, you see how runny that is? This isn't meant to dissuade you. I mean, if you like very hydrating, moisturizing ingredients, I would definitely say stick with this one, but I'm gonna do my forehead in just a minute. But if you find that any type of oil, shea butter, Jehovah oil, leads to clogged pores or breakouts, you know, I would say skip this one. If you don't like fragrance, I would say skip this one. 
I think one thing that I like about this is, oh, I think I'm spreading a hair around. Because I, this was like the first sunscreen I ever used. When I first got into sunscreen and sun protection, I was all about uh, like using mineral, mineral only sunscreen. I was all about natural sun protection. There was a period of time when I didn't use any sunscreen because I just, I didn't want, first of all, I didn't think I looked good in sunscreen and I still think like naked skin looks better than one that has any type of sunscreen on it. That being said, I, will never go without sunscreen during the day. Um, but yeah, I, I try to really focus on natural beauty, natural sun protection, natural skincare, and I just stuck with mineral only SPFs. And I think when I first started using this, you know, the the smell, I think smells like fragrances bring back, they, they trigger memories. And it really takes me back to when I first used this and when I was first using this and where I was and who I was interacting with at the time. And it really, triggers memories and that's like one good thing about skincare and fragrance and things like that is it can really just jog your memory and help you relive certain aspects of your life which i like so it sort of brings back even that emotional state that you were in at the time which might not always be a good thing but sometimes you know reminiscing i think can be important but yeah so this is what it looks like i oh sorry i wasn't looking in the mirror so i have a very i did a very sloppy job on this i might actually apply a tinted moisturizer on top or you know what i did earlier i think what did I say? I did the mineral, the mineral, oh, the MD Solar Sciences. I think I'll do that and just apply a little bit of color on here and just to smooth it out a little bit more. I need to, I actually might get in the shower a little later, so I don't even know why I'm doing this. I, the reason why, so I'm reapplying basically, even though I'm not really going outside today, I have been reapplying frequently and I think I mentioned that earlier in this vlog, but I'm doing that because I really need to step up my moisturizing game and because sunscreen is technically a moisturizer, that's one reason, also just the added protection, but it's also important because you might have skip areas or earlier on during the day that you didn't catch and so it just ensures more adequate protection during the day and you know, you might sweat sunscreen off or brush it off with your hands accidentally without even knowing. So it just really brings up your protection game, especially sun that comes in through the windows, the UVA that comes in through the windows. If you're concerned about that, I mean, also the reason why I want to bring up my moisturizing game is because of the retinol, which I feel like I'm harping on, so I'm sorry about that. But uh, it's just, you really have to moisturize. I think tonight I'm going to do a sheet mask and really do like a whole facial like a nightly facial and just bring in a bunch of moisture components maybe do a serum and a humectant and a couple of moisturizers along with a sheet mask just to up my moisturizing just because i again i feel like the retinol is making my skin just really sop up as much moisture as possible but hopefully that means it's working right <laughs> I'm getting extra protection from that retinol from the sun, so that's cool. All right, there I added some extra protection. The iron oxides is definitely going to provide some blue light, visible light protection, so that's also good to have. And I think, again, so the MD Solar Sciences, the non-tinted sunscreen, non-tinted mineral sunscreen, also has iron oxides in here. Not to a significant extent because it doesn't have the color as the tinted mineral sunscreen, but I would assume to an extent that would actually protect against UV, or UVA and UVB, but also blue light and visible light. And it also has antioxidants in here, whether or not that does anything, but it's nice to have that extra level of protection. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think I should just skip doing my hair again? I feel like... It's late, it's laid flat. So <laughs> what I've been trying to do lately is like brush it up or like flip it up a little bit. And I'm typically successful, but today I didn't wash it. I had that leave-in conditioner on that I had on yesterday. I don't know if you saw that. I don't know when that was posted, that video, but I have that on my hair. I sprayed some more leave-in conditioner on my hair. And I think just the added products, and then I did hairspray and I did the sea salt spray and I did a little bit of the bio silk powder that has UV filters in here. So I have a lot of UV filters in, in on my hair and I have a lot of product on my hair. So I think it's just weighed it down. So I might wash my hair and just get everything out. Just put a leave-in conditioner in, let it be, and then maybe tomorrow I'll actually <laughs> fix it and do something, do something worthwhile with it. All right, it is still Saturday. I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go ahead and edit some vlogs, get some videos in and upload those so I'm ahead. Jacob and I just got done eating 
Chinese food. Um, and I don't want to show myself because I'm watching the crazy Disney lady on YouTube. She's streaming live from the Magic Kingdom. But I am eating this chocolate I just bought by XO, Chocolate XO. No sugar added, salted peanut butter. This is super, so it's 37% milk chocolate. I am not used milk, like this light cacao. This is, I usually do like 85% to 100% cacao in my chocolate that I buy, but this is 37% milk chocolate. It is super sweet, but it's no sugar. And there's no sugar alcohols. There's no stevia. It's just sweetened with, so there's cocoa butter, inulin from chicory root fiber and isomalt from beets. And then it has milk and vanilla and peanut butter. It's really good, but, um, and I'm glad that there's no sugar alcohols in here. It's just so, it's almost sickeningly sweet. I can't, I'm gonna finish it obviously, but I'm almost suspicious. Like how is this so sweet, but no sugar? Like does it, does, isomalt or inulin. I know inulin is like a prebiotic fiber, but does isomalt raise blood sugar? I don't think it does. It's just so sweet and there's no like bitter aftertaste. It's good. Like it's really good. I highly recommend it if you like milk chocolate, but I'm just not used to it, but definitely going to finish this regardless. Do you see how crazy my hair is? <laughs> what the heck? Like literally, why? Why? It looks, I think the issue is, I'm just theorizing, but I think I put, maybe I put too much of the leave-in conditioner in my hair. I So I washed it just recently, like an hour ago, put in leave-in condition conditioner, then dried my hair and tried to style it while I dried it, but it just ended up looking like this. So <laughs> I tried to vlog, like like actually vlog without doing it in the mirror, but it was just too, it was just too crazy. But I'm going to end the weekend vlog here. Literally, is anyone, does anyone who watch my videos, are you a hairdresser or like a person who can give me advice? Let me know down below in the comments because I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna continue watching The Crazy Disney Lady. I might find another 80s movie to watch tonight. So this is the weekend. Um, I wanna have some sort of relaxation and enjoyment. Just wanna sort of like zone out. But I hope you had fun. Thank you for joining me today for this weekend vlog. If you like this vlog, leave a like down below, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and your family. I would love to have more people here to join in on the fun. So <laughs> uh, I will talk to you later and have a good one. Bye.